Mm. <laughs> this is insane. Those gravy covered french fries with tons of melted cheese. So messy, rich and gooey, I will need a fork to eat. So good that my now empty plate reveals a fleur de lis. They said we wouldn't do it. They said, no, you won't take the show international. Well, guess what? We did. We're in Montreal. You guys asked for it. We're here to eat poutine. This is what I'm looking for in a good poutine. It starts with French fries. They need to be well seasoned, and I want a little bit of crisp on the edges of the fries. Next, cheese curds. I want them to be a little bit melty, and when I eat them, they should squeak against my teeth. And finally, the sauce that brings it all together, the gravy. I want a deep brown color, I want some umami meat flavor, and I want a little bit of herbal uh, flavor in there too. A balance of light and dark. You all know how this goes. I've got one day to hit a bunch of spots and find the best poutine in Montreal. I'm gonna have a couple friends helping me along the way. Let's get to it. We are at the green spot, and I am here to eat my first poutine of the day. The Holy Trinity, right here, in a bowl, in front of me. There seems to be that quintessential dinerness that exists in this place. You've got the jukebox on the table, you've got the old Coca-Cola signs, you have the placemats with the diner's name on it. I haven't really figured this out yet. Like, I, my brain is telling me eat this with my hands because it's french fries, and I always eat french fries with my hands. But the fork and my hands are saying, no, dude, you cannot eat this with your hands. You've got to go with the fork. So I'm going to listen to the fork. Mm. Super flavorful gravy, and super, super dark. It's been heated for a long time. Gets kind of condensed, and you get that true beefy flavor. Little bit of herby uh, action going on. Curds, will they squeak? Yeah, they're squeaking. And the fries, these are super crispy on the outside, and the inside is that creamy, borderline mashed potato consistency. I'm pretty impressed. If the rest of the day is looking like this, and improving, I think we're gonna be in a good spot. At the green spot, this is the triple P, the potato purus poutine. There's a lot of potato going on, but it doesn't dominate. It has a nice texture and a nice flavor. If you like potatoes, this is the guy for you. We are in Point St. Charles at Paul Patat. And this is filled with poutine. Fries look like they have some nice color on them. Uh, gravy's pretty well spread across. Looks like some of them are getting soggy, but we can expect that. I'm just gonna dive in on this. The fries that hang around the outside are still crispy. Not super crispy, but crispier than the ones that are soaked by all the gravy in the middle. There's actually like a little bit of sweetness to this gravy. There's not any like heavily dominant herb flavor, uh, but you get that nice brown sauce, beef stock, like umami from the gravy. And then the curds, you got some real big guys in here. You definitely get a little bit of that squeak. We're in a pretty residential neighborhood right now. This is truly like a corner spot. You got a counter that runs along the whole place, a couple seats along the window, but people have been coming in and out, maybe grabbing poutine, maybe grabbing a hot dog. At Paul Patat, this is the peaceful poutine. Your friendly neighborhood poutine, quiet streets, nice people. And it tastes good too. Just in Poutine La Fleur for this. Let it catch that glow. Poutine La Fleur, it seems almost kind of like a fast food joint almost. People are running in and out quickly. Um, it doesn't look like there are that many people sitting down to eat, and if they are, they're gonna eat pretty quickly and then bounce. Here we go. Okay, I've got a couple thoughts about this. One, gravy, color-wise and flavor-wise, is on the lighter side, but you do get like an herby kind of thing happening. The fries are super thin though. You can see like, it's packed in there. There's gravy everywhere. There's no crispy texture on the fries. I don't think we're looking at number one. At Poutine La Fleur, this is the penalty box poutine. If you catch two minutes or hooking, you can grab one of these. Eat it real quick in those two minutes. When you're back out on the ice, your poutine's finished. Penalty box.
little bit crowded in there. We're gonna go to the park. Uh, I gotta dig into these before these squirrels jump me for these uh, gravy-soaked fries. La bonquise. Let's get this. Oh, melty curds. Lots of fries. One thing to notice about this poutine, the cheese curds are not crumbly. They're like kind of squiggles, lines, thin. Fries, very thin, and gravy's everywhere. The gravy's like very clearly all mixed in with the fries. There's still a bit of crunch on the fries, but most of them are soaked up with the gravy, and I'm thankful for that because this gravy has that deep flavor. It's got the herb thing going on. It's got the beef thing going on. It's the brown sauce that I've been looking for so far. And the curds are actually melty, which is nice. Hey, dude, uh, how do you like your poutine? We move locations. The squirrels were actually invading. When I was in there, it was jam-packed. There were plates of poutine constantly coming out of the kitchen. This seems the most like an institution of anything that we've had so far today. La Banquise, this is the ice flow poutine. La Banquise translates in French uh, to roughly the flow or the ice flow. And this is the poutine in the dead of winter in Montreal, surrounded by snow and ice that I wanna be eating. It's gonna warm me right up. More poutine at patati patata. And these, I don't know if you can see hanging out there, looks like we're dealing with some crispy fries. Oh, surprise olive. What's up with that? Thinnest fries we've had so far, crispiest fries we've had so far. Looks like good coverage on the gravy. Gravy's looking on the lighter side in terms of color. And the curds chopped up pretty well. It's kind of like a mixture of chop and those longer pieces. Oh. Yep, look at that. Cheese pull. We got curds flying all over the place. Let's get it. it sounds like my teeth is like a car windshield and the cheese is like the wiper is like eh, uh, eh, uh. These fries are still super crispy. Some of them are soggy with the gravy, but these are definitely the crispiest fries we've had so far. I'm happy about that. The gravy's well seasoned. You can tell the gravy seasoned and the fries are seasoned well. It's actually a pretty mellow gravy, but overall well done. It's a pretty small spot. There's a counter, a couple high tops. There may be, I wanna say like 18 seats in there. Seems like there are a lot of younger people here. It was a good vibe. I actually really like the vibe in there. Everything's out in the open. You can see everything that's going on. Kind of feels like you're in someone's kitchen almost. At patati patata, this is the hallelujah poutine. So it makes me want to sing hallelujah. And also, Leonard Cohen used to live right up the street. All poutine, my heart hangs on your every curd. Your gravy streams throughout my dreams. I sing these words. Mon amour, c'est toi et moi. T'es bon de terre, même blanc chaque fois. We see fried to I owe oh, my poutine. We are at Chez Claudette. And if you guessed it was more poutine, you are correct. Exterior is bright yellow. Maurice Richard is uh, watching over the place. He's painted on the side of the building. Uh, and I'm warming my hands up with this. This is the new skin treatment. This is what people will be paying like 80 bucks for in New York in like two months. Fries are looking very dark. Gravy's looking on the darker side. Curds are well spread. They're getting melty. I'm getting like a, like kind of a, a brown sugary smell from this. Like, I haven't tasted this yet, but I, I think it's gonna be sweet. Oh, oh, oh. The potato flavor is very, this like tastes like potatoes. A little bit of the ends of the french fries are crispy. The gravy is like, it has that deep flavor. You can tell that the gravy has been simmering for a while. It's losing moisture. All the flavors are getting concentrated. You get that deep umami, little bit of herby stuff going on. Curds are squeaky. This is good poutine. And it is a little bit sweet. Again, that's probably coming from the potatoes, the really high starch red potatoes. All that starch turns to sugar. Gives you a nice little sweet note to balance out the saltiness uh, of the curds and the gravy. And Chez Claudette, this is the checks and balances poutine. You got the Rocket Richard delivering the checks and this poutine perfectly balanced between the sweet and the salty. <music> at Le Roi du Smoke Meat. This place is super old school. It's kind of awesome. I'm obsessed with the color palettes, like the baby blue and bright red. The guys working behind the counter, love them too. There's an old gentleman back there uh, who's slicing up brisket. Uh, he's making some brisket sandwiches. Wish I could eat that, but 
I'm saving my stomach room for this. This is looking pretty good. I wish you guys could smell it. The gravy smells nice. You guys hear this? Okay, these are crispy. These are crispy boys right here. Gravy colors, looking nice. Curds are like kind of all mixed in there, which I appreciate. They're not just sitting on top. First thing off the bat, this gravy is one, very good, but two, tastes more like poultry gravy, like it's either turkey or chicken. This tastes like the gravy that I associate with Thanksgiving. Fries, they kind of lose that crispiness in the gravy. They're not bad, but they're not totally soggy and they're not crispy. Two skirts, pretty straightforward. I'm getting the squeak. The thing speaking the most to me here is definitely the gravy. This is the poultry poutine. It's got that turkey vibe to it. It reminds me of Thanksgiving, whether it's Canadian Thanksgiving or American Thanksgiving. I'm thinking turkey. All right, we've got like the 42nd best seat at La Belle Province and more poutine. There are multiple locations of this place. The vibe inside, it's like a fast food restaurant. Wow, that actually looks really good. Curd size is mixed. You got some big curds, you got some little curds. Uh, the fries, let's see if we can find them under here. Oh yeah, they're kind of thick cut. At this point, they're soaked in gravy. There's like gravy all over this thing. You can see it goes all the way down into the bottom. The gravy actually has a pretty good flavor. You can tell this is loaded with salt. Like this is seasoned to hell. The fries are solid. They're very soaked. There's no kind of variety in texture there. This is the first time that the squeak of the cheese curd isn't really standing out to me. I don't know if it's because the curds are small. I don't know if it has to do with the freshness, but that's the first thing that I noticed with this. At La Belle Provence, this is the, uh, let me get a poutine. Because you know when you're driving through the, the drive through a fast food place and you get to the thing and you're just like, I kind of know what I want, but I don't. Let me get a poutine. You might notice that we're not at a snack bar. We're not standing outside. We're sitting down inside a restaurant. And that's because I have a special guest with me. And we gotta do something special when Emily Eisen, wine connoisseur, ex cool. Bon Appetit staffer, and Canadian. Hey Delaney, how are you? Welcome to good. Canada. Oh, thanks. <laughs> have you ever eaten poutine before? I have, yeah, I have. Okay, um, is this what it usually looks like? Every poutine. Oh, every? Poutine, sorry. Oh, poutine. Has foie gras on it. So I've been eating the wrong thing all day. <laughs> all day. <laughs> we gotta no. start over, guys. We're done. What makes a good poutine good? Putin. Putin. See, this video is just gonna be me Number being one. corrected. Yeah. Crispy French fries all around. You know, slightly getting soggy from the gravy. Yes. Meaty, real gravy. Nothing from the packet. Hell we no. don't want any powder in our. No, gravy. no, no, no. Okay. No. Uh, should we eat this? It's like the crispy gone soggy texture. What more do you expect? It's been covered in gravy. <laughs> gravy taste, what do you think? It's super rich, as you'd expect it to be. It's almost like a little bechamel -y. Like, it's super creamy. Super salty, you know, all mm -hmm. the right things. All right, I feel like we have to get a slice of the, the foie yeah. in there, right? You want that one? <laughs> How does this compare to the poutine you've been eating today? Definitely more opulent. The flavors are like a little bit more refined. There's a lot more going on in the gravy. The texture of everything is really nice. These fries, like, the texture is pretty perfect, I think, for poutine. Everything else hasn't had a big slab of foie gras on it. So if you had to give this poutine a nickname, what would it be? This is your like Upper East Side poutine. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a dig at me because I lived on the Upper East Side for four years. So what's the Upper East Side equivalent in Montreal? I would say it would be West Mountain. Okay, so is this West Mount poutine? Yeah. Even though we might not be in West Mount? We're definitely not in West Mountain, but yeah. I mean, I don't think anyone ever called poutine chic, but I just <laughs> did, so <laughs> if you would have to say. Poutine chic. Welcome to Canada. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Claire, no, Claire, I told you, you can't call me on this payphone. Not, no, never. Hold on, one second, hold on. Okay, so that last place, uh, if you didn't notice there was some foie gras on top of that, uh, on that poutine, gets disqualified. Tasty, but not exactly what we're looking for. Uh, it's pretty dark out, it's getting late, but I still have some work left to do. Some more poutine to eat. 
So uh, let me just say goodbye, and we'll get to it. Yeah, I'll yeah I'll see you in the test kitchen. All right, bye. Poutine. We're coming out of Toussignon, and the vibe in there is absolutely incredible. Every little detail in there is killer. It's kind of throwback to like an Italian, maybe 60s, 70s era cafe. I'm kind of already in love with the place, but I haven't tasted this yet. Again, classic poutine. We have our brown sauce, our gravy, our curds, and our fries. Red potatoes are what the fries are made from, gravy's made in-house, and the curds get shipped in every day. I feel like I've had enough of this today, but more. This is the squeakiest squeak of the day, easily. The brown sauce, the gravy, that deep flavor, that umami, it's here. It's really, really here. You get a little bit of the herb, you get the seasoning, the salt, you get that meaty flavor in there too. And uh, the color, you can see, it's not that kind of light glaze, it's a true brown. This poutine is kind of getting me excited again. I've kind of been fading off a little bit. This is getting me excited to be back in the poutine game. Also, not to be missed or understated, the little crack of uh, fresh black pepper on top, Chez Toussignon, this, is the new school, old school. Inside, the vibe, it's all classics. But this, the poutine itself, the new school care is taken. We've got a couple more spots to hit. Let's get to them. We are outside the Montreal pool room. And by we, I mean me and my friend Steph from Montreal, a poutine expert. Yeah, I grew up on this stuff. And you can tell, I'm glowing. <laughs> She's glowing because yeah. of this. <laughs> have you been here before? I have been here many times, but every time I come here, I only get the hot dogs. So we're both having this for the first time yes. right now. Should we see what's up? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. This looks pretty good. I can tell that the fries are brown. So this tells me that the oil is really old, which is a good thing. Yes. That's what you want. And then the cheese is melted because we closed the box for a while, which is what you want. The gravy looks thick enough. Uh, guys, we're going to reshoot today, and Steph's going to be your host. And I'll leave. <laughs> <laughs> when I have a burger, I want the griddle to be like 60 years old, so yeah. it's been seasoned for 60 yeah. years. Yeah. So that's the same thing, but with the That's oil. what it feels like. What do you look for in good poutine? Dirty, dirty <laughs> <Yeah>. oil. <laughs> and this is exactly what you want after a night out, because it's super salty, and then it kind of guarantees that you'll have a terrible hangover the yeah. next day. Where would you eat your last poutine of your life? What is the best? So in Montreal, my old answer would have been Chez Claudette, and I think this is now maybe top one in Montreal. I'm witnessing. Well, I'm really happy right wow. now. Wow. really good. I feel honored. What is the nickname for this poutine? I feel like it needs to have like an old Quebecois name, like a guy who smokes a lot of cigarettes and like owns a like dive bar. Yeah. I used to go to this dive bar on the south shore of Quebec City when I was a teen. And the bar owner's name was Richard. And I think okay. that's the name. If you're from Quebec, you can say it like uh, Steph. Richard. If you're from America and are gonna get slaughtered on the internet for saying anything French, you can just call it the Richard. Okay, I've eaten far too much poutine today. I have an idea of what my top three are, but I'm gonna sleep on it and get back to you guys. Get back to you guys. I slept on it. I took the night to think about my poutine preferences, and before I get back on the plane to New York, I had to stop by the Olympic Stadium and tell you who made it on the poutine podium. The bronze medal goes to Green Spot. Thick cut, serious fries, and a gravy that was super dark and super flavorful. Really liked that poutine. The silver medal goes to Chez Toussignon. Everything there, you could tell the quality was just at the top. The curds were the squeakiest I had, the gravy, super flavorful, lots of herbs going on, and the potatoes brought just enough sweetness to balance it all out. So who's standing at the top of the podium? Who's taking the gold medal, the pride of Montreal? It's Chez Claudette. Everything about that poutine 
It was bold, it was flavorful. The gravy flavors super concentrated. The fries, again, brought that sweetness, balanced out the saltiness of the curd and the seasoning in the gravy. Everything about that poutine was exactly what I was looking for, even those little crispy bits on the end of the fries. But these were my favorites. If you think I missed a spot, I wanna hear it in the comments below. And on the off chance that I mispronounced any of those French words, you can yell at me for that too. Thanks to Montreal for having us. Thanks to all the poutine shops we visited for serving up the fries and the gravy and the curds. I'm Alex Delaney. Bon appétit. Well, see, the fry, I like it a little crispier, although the gravy, it does have a nice flavor. I can't wait to finish this one and get to my next. I'm Alex Delaney. Bon appétit.